Hey everybody, we're gonna play uh, Gabriel Knight 1, and it's gonna be the remake, uh, which uh, came out just a couple of days ago, and it's um, a remake of the original Gabriel Knight 1 uh, from 1994. Um, Gabriel Knight has three games, one, two, and three, obviously, and we're gonna play the first one. I don't want to uh, talk about the second and the third one. Really enjoy the series, played the first game, and uh, watched the second and third as a Let's Play. So I'm quite familiar with the Gabriel Knight uh, character and universe itself, <clears throat> but I don't want to talk too much. Let's just uh, start the game. Okay, so a uh, typical point and click adventure. Uh, yeah, we could just look at all the stuff and um, you know solve some puzzles. Uh, so let's have a look at the newspaper. Today's newspaper is on the counter. Uh, yes, it is. Times dated June 18, 1993. The Aquarius horoscope says, Potential storms ahead. Proceed with caution and do not get involved with anything new at this time. Hmm. <laughs> right. Okay, I read the newspaper every day for new information about important locations and activities. All right, uh, let's read the newspaper. So it's the New Orleans Times, Friday, June 18, 1993. And it says, Voodoo murders terrify residents. Six murders in two months have pushed the residents of New Orleans into a cold state of fear. The crimes have been dubbed the voodoo murders due to the ritual trappings found at the crime scenes. Uh, the police have no leads, but they said in a press statement today that the victims are all out of towners. That's cold comfort for natives who have been looking, <clears throat> who have been locking their doors at night and leaving the once rollicking streets of the French Quarter deserted. The mayor has promised a swift resolution to the case, but so far neither the police department or the perpetrator seem to be listening. Okay, so there are some murders going on, and we're in New Orleans. Obviously. Hmm. We already had some coffee. Let's look at the books. The books on the table have been chosen for their special appeal. Recent fiction by the biggies. In other words, nothing written by Gabriel. So Gabriel is a writer. That's interesting. Uh, let's look at the counter. All right, uh, I can see something flashing right there, tweezers. I'm going to take the tweezers for a bit. Good, you're beginning to look a bit scruffy. All right, we have some books about New Orleans. I always had a thing for St. George, the one who slew a dragon. Yeah, it's probably bigger than this little guy, though. That's from Graham. She likes to think it means someone's watching over me. I'm not so sure about that, but I don't have a heart to get rid of it. Okay, so we have a grandmother, <laughs> as everybody does at some point. Someone left those here after Mardi Gras. My spare motorcycle gloves. Okay, a magnifying glass. Mind if I borrow the magnifying glass? No, Sherlock. Just bring it back when we get the next estate shipment. All right. Just a few self-help books. That one on top was a joke gift from Mosley. Fear of commitment, it says. I forget where that came from, but seems like a nice place to visit. Yeah, so uh, you will notice throughout the game that Gabriel Knight has some ties uh, to Germany, and that actually looks like one of those southern German <clears throat> fairy cities. Uh, okay. The Blake Backlash series. My literary claim to fame such as it is. So those are his series of books. Oh look, there's a postcard of Germany right here. With uh, Schloss Neuschwanstein. Probably one of the most favorite American attractions in uh, Germany. Not so lucky for the rabbit, was it? What a lot of people don't know is that uh, this castle right here, which is so famous, 
for being like a like a, a fairy castle it was actually built after the american civil war so germany has a lot of old castles well that's not one of them you can't take two steps down bourbon street without ending up with a strand of beads all right i practically own stock in these guys yeah white t-shirts gracie's resume she was way overqualified and also the only person who applied those keychains were for a promo i tried once before i realized it was hopeless local interest piece on the store it didn't garner the sympathy sales i was hoping for all right um so i think we got everything we needed so i basically know um what i need to do <laughs> so it's not really blind um you can look at a lot of things which give you like additional information some things are only for the jokes uh, but most things you can look at now are actually uh, things you need later in the game so i might actually reside if that's actually an english word uh, looking at these things now because we will look at them later and it only will only get uh, repetitive um, so the next thing we are going to do is look at that box the box has Gabriel's name on it written in his grandmother's handwriting Gabriel's father's old sketchbook sits on the top okay let's take the sketchbook All right, this is our inventory down here. We can have a look at the sketchbook. Gabriel looks fondly at his father's sketchbook and charcoal pencil. I always do that wrong. Images haunt the pages of Philip Knight's sketchbook, the way they must have haunted his mind. The images touch a deep chord in Gabriel. So familiar are they that he finds it hard to believe they aren't from his own subconscious. Okay, what do we have here? We have a skull with three snakes. We have a lion, a lion and a snake. Whatever that is, a dragon maybe. Hmm. All right, let's have a look at the register. Gabriel looks at the cash register, checking for cobwebs. No money coming in. Gabriel opens a cash register to examine the take. Or in the case of St. George's books, the mistake. All right, so we have some change here. Um, but what I actually need is uh, the gift, gift uh, certificate. I trust you can live without this old gift certificate. Knock yourself out. Well, we can try to take the money. The cash register contains about $20 in small bills and change. Hmm. Gabriel, that's all the change I have. Touch it and you can kiss your hand goodbye. Would I do that to you? All right, all right. Uh, let's talk to Grace. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? All right, so mouse cursor has gone on. Oh, no, it's because we are, there was a tutorial message. So uh, basically, Mm, you can talk about a lot of stuff to get background information, but to advance in the game, you only need the yellow stuff. Um, but because that's actually, for me, it's part of the game. So I'm going to talk about everything. What do you know about voodoo? I didn't know much of anything about it until you started researching it for your book. Now I know that it's active in the city. There's that shop and museum. It can clearly be dangerous in the wrong hands. You should be careful investigating it. What do you know about voodoo? I've told you all I know. Sorry I can't be more help. Yeah, there will be parts in the game where you talk to people and you can ask the same question again and they will say something differently all the time. Sometimes you need to do that and sometimes it's just for the laughs. Um, so I'll what see about that. What do you about know that. about the voodoo murders? Just what I read in the papers, same as you. Mm-hmm. What do you know about the voodoo murders? You won't get far questioning me about it, Sherlock. What can you tell me about New Orleans? I've only been here two months, but I love it. It's so much more alive than any place I've been. It feels like anything's possible here. 
Mm-hmm. Did you find any good voodoo resources for me? The best in the city are supposedly the Dixieland Drugstore and the Historical Museum of Voodoo. Both are right here in the French Quarter. How would I ever manage without you? You? Give me a break. The devil himself couldn't change you. Well, if the devil had great legs, perhaps. Like yours. And a riveting personality, I'm sure. If you need any more research done, just ask. It's not as though we're swamped with customers. Oh yeah, that that noise you hear. Oh, uh, you get like uh, you can collect points, and uh, there's like a max amount of points you can get if you get all the bonus information and stuff like that. I'm not really going for that um, because this is not like a hundred percent completionist run or anything. So. You know, I'll try everything I can, but whatever. What else can you tell me about New Orleans? You're the native. Don't ask me. Do you have messages for me? Your friend Detective Mosley called. Talkative, isn't he? Especially with you. What did he want? He told me to tell you that his mother's maiden name is Humphrey, and that he left some photos for you at the station, at the front desk. It's about time. Let me guess. This has to do with the voodoo murders, right? Some kind of inside police information? Did you tell him you'd put him in your new book? Maybe. A writer has a certain obligation to his readers, you know. Gabriel! You know you'll never put him in your book. Your main character's a female orthodontist. You're gonna be reincarnated as a pit bull if you keep screwing with your karma. As long as it's a male pit bull with a really big... Uh, that's enough. Thanks. Do you have messages for me? You got a call from someone named Wolfgang Ritter. He was calling from Germany. He told me it was urgent. Maybe you should give him a call. Call Germany? Like hell. If it's really important, he'll call back. Well, fine. Let's just hope he's not with the German lottery for pitiful American authors. Do you have messages for me? Your grandmother called. I keep meaning to get over there. What did she say? Did she sound good? She sounded great. We had a nice little chat about you. Grace. Don't worry, I didn't go into detail about your cardinal sins. Not that anything about you could surprise her. She adores you anyway. She's my girl. And she sent over that box on the table for you. Do you have messages for me? Dana called and Susie left a message about a lawsuit. Tossum. Okie dokie. Well, that's all the messages for now. Lawsuit? That... Well... Did uh, he get her pregnant or something? <laughs> Do you have messages for me? I've given everything to you. Not everything, baby, not everything. Tell me about yourself, Grace. What do you want to know? Okay. Uh, this is additional stuff, so let's just go through it. Why not? How come we haven't gone out yet? I'm still waiting around for that lobotomy. Soon as I get it, I'll let you know, okay? How do you like working at St. George's Books? Well, it's not exactly a huge intellectual challenge. Although the math in your record books could confuse Einstein. Still, I love old books. And it's a nice way to pay the bills while I explore the city for a summer. If you ever pay me, that is. Oops. What do you do after work? I either go to my oil painting class or my Tai Chi. You know that. You can go overboard with this improving yourself stuff. You don't want to alienate us mere mortals. Oh, I suppose I should just allow my mind and body to atrophy. Works for me. How old are you? Old enough to know about men like you. Just tell me anything at all. I just got my master's in history and classics. My folks wanted me to go on right away for my PhD, but 18 years of school was enough. I needed a break. Just tell me anything at all. I came to New Orleans because I'd read so much about it. I thought spending a few months here would clear my head. Just tell me anything at all. I've been studying Tai Chi for 10 years. It's a very spiritual discipline. I'm sure discipline of any sort isn't something that would appeal to you, Gabriel. Nothing, I guess. Never mind. Okay, now we can, can chat a little bit. Request research. We won't need that yet. So, what's new, Grace? Your use of mathematics, for one thing. 
These books are unbelievable. What can I say? I refuse to be bound by rules. The strap marks on your bedpost speak otherwise. Done anything interesting lately? By your definition? No. I prefer it that way. Keep him busy? Not really. If you need any research done, let me know. Seen any good movies? I saw a great documentary last night on pyramid excavations. You mean small, dark places that haven't been touched in centuries? Sounds right up your alley. <laughs> well, it did help me gain a better understanding of your mind. Did I ever tell you that you're actually quite attractive? Be still, my heart. Had any customers lately? No, but I'm sure you have. You know, you really should get out more. But then who'd take care of St. George's? Me. Exactly. Could you do some research for me? Sure, what? All right. <clears throat> I can't think of anything. Oh, no shit. So we're done with that. Uh, we talked to her. Uh, we got some messages, and these messages often unlock places we can go. Uh, but we still need to do some more stuff here. Um, well, yeah, let's look at the, the light. The chandelier is original. Gabriel finds it charming. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. He can't afford to replace it. Oh, look at those spider webs. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's look at the bookshelf. Okay, so we have a bunch of German, famous German books here. Um, we have a German-English dictionary. We have a book about snakes, which is odd. And um, we have a book called Das Lyrik, which doesn't really make any sense. Um, but uh, it's by Heinz Ritter, and that's, I think, the guy that um, called Gabriel, and he doesn't want to call back. So let's look at that book. A book of German poetry that once belonged to Gabriel's grandfather. Gabriel has always found it strangely compelling. Dry drachen creaken in meinen Schlaf, die Seele wollen sie lebendig zum Fraus. Feuerigen Atems. Gespaltener Zunge genießen sie jedes Mal. That's nice. Kind of creepy, though. Who's the author? Heinz Ritter. I'm not sure what it says, but I get the feeling this guy was one sick puppy. Yeah, so it's probably be uh, going to be the only time I can actually translate, uh, translate something and actually be useful. <laughs> so it's in German, and it's not that creepy. I don't know what they're talking about. And his pronunciation was, of course, uh, pretty bad. So I'm just going to translate it. I think you will translate it later in the game, but, you know, why not? So it says, Three dragons crawling in my sleep. The soul they want to eat alive. That's basically what it says. A fiery breath. A split tongue. They enjoy every meal. Uh, let's look at the dictionary. Maybe he can translate it himself. Gabriel leaves through a German-English dictionary. Dra means three. Oh, yeah. Gabriel leaves through a German-English dictionary. Dra means three. No shit. Gabriel leaves through a German-English dictionary. Spiel means game. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know if you could Gabriel actually... Gabriel leaves through a German-English dictionary. Reiser means a journey. I wonder if I'll ever use this stuff. Yeah, where did it say Reiser? Dra drachen creaken in meinen Schlaf. Oh, he's just saying, okay. For your... Yeah, I get it. Alright, so we looked at that. That was quite interesting. Uh, that's Gabriel's bedroom. We won't get, go there now, we will go there later. So, um, I think... Oh yeah, by the way, before I do something else, this star right here, it's part of the remake. So what it basically uh, gives you is uh, concept art of the first game and information. There are interviews, uh, pictures, descriptions <clears throat> of, of the game design and stuff like that, but um, there are like major spoilers for the story here 
because basically everywhere where the star is not grayed out you can get information uh, and now you would get information for this room right here um, and because there will be stuff going on in this room the whole game there will be spoilers in that thing so I'm not gonna look at that um, what are we gonna do next yeah I think we should go to um, the police station and talk to our friend Mosley and get that uh, those pictures I'm going out don't hurry back on my account so here we have a map um, we have the Dixieland drugstore the voodoo museum um, that's what um, these uh, two appeared on the map because Grace told us about them. That's our bookstore. That's the church. We don't want to go there yet. Jackson Square. We don't want to go there either. Uh, over not. We want to go to the police station. So I'm going to end the part here. And I'll see you guys in the next part when we go into the police station. So goodbye.